I just got out of the shower and I got a phone call that I got a delivery. So I'm running down and getting it. It is free alcohol, so <laughs> I have to bring my ID. DJ's on and grab a Betty, cause it's Betty time and I'm Betty, your host for Vlogmas 2020. I just went down and picked up a package on the house. I think it's called Mosaic and it is alcohol samples. Let's see what I got. Smirnoff, peach, white peach rosé, club soda mini, what's this, another vodka, Smirnoff infusions, cucumber and lime, am I shaking? We are putting together Christmas and birthday gifts for Jess because her birthday was yesterday. So that's the little bag that I put together for her Christmas gift. This is her birthday that we're putting together together. <laughs> and then this is Courtney's bag. She used one of my corner shop ones and it literally says I ran out of time to get a present bag. And she made it cute, but like, <laughs> I just thought that was so funny. <laughs> I just realized Jess does not actually watch the vlog, so I can say what I got her. I got her two books. This one's Sorry I Barfed on Your Bed and Other Heartwarming Letters from Kitty. I thought that was really funny. And then the other one is Homo Pup. And they were both from Value Village. I got her two scrunchies from an Etsy shop. They're really cute. And some stickers. Um, this one is of New Brunswick. This one says, send me dog pics. And the last one says, thick thighs, thin patience. It's a little cake. And a planter. And that is a friendship bracelet that I made her. And I made Courtney one and I made me one. Courtney is very upset right now. So we're not going to talk about it. But she messed up on a card that she was writing. I didn't even write a card. So you can tell who's the better friend here. Where are we headed to? We are headed to Miss Jessica's home. We're gonna drop off some birthday slash Christmas Santa. presents. Yeah, we're Santa today. Oh, I should have yeah. worn my red mask. Then I would have been like red and green. We made a little McDonald's stop. <laughs> and then we got on the bus or the streetcar, I guess. Sebastian! His eyes are glowing. <laughs> Look at all the presents she has under the tree. A real life tree too. She fancy up in here. The CN Tower is red and green. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. <laughs> we are back to red and green lights, feeling festive, feeling fine. Maybe I had too much wine. Um, I had a great day today. It was super fun, but I think the wine did make me kind of tired now. And today was not a great day film wise. Like I didn't vlog anything, but that's my bad. I got no one to blame but myself. I was planning on reading The Golden Girls, Twas the Night Before Christmas, but then I thought, why would I read The Golden Girls, Twas the Night Before Christmas on any day other than Christmas Eve? That makes absolutely no sense. So I'm not going to read this until Christmas Eve. It has not been confirmed yet. I sound like a news anchor, but the speculation is there. <laughs> that we're gonna go into another lockdown this time for all of Ontario not just the GTA so right now Toronto is in code gray no zone gray <laughs> I don't know where to go from there because that's already locked down but I guess it's gonna be more strict starting Christmas day and 
and that makes me a little bit stressed out, kind of nervous. One of my jobs is at a store and I am essential, even though we're not getting any hazard pay to be there. It's minimum wage, but I can't afford to leave it or lose it. So I hope it stays open. But then again, the risk is not really worth it. So yeah, I'm kind of caught in the middle and I wouldn't be able to get government assistance because I would still have my other job, I think. I don't know. So that is my update for today. Nothing too festive, but I had a great day. I really did need to leave the apartment for something other than work. It has been a while and I am a extrovert, so being around people really helps me survive and have good mental health. That's my jingle. That's tonight's BBB. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Tonight's Betty Bye Bop is, it's a good one. Are you ready? Christmas, and then in brackets, baby, please come home. In brackets, by Cher and Rosie O'Donnell. Isn't that so sweet? It's actually a really good song. I feel like it might come off as if I'm joking, but like, I really like this Christmas song. Like I specifically waited until closer to Christmas to share this gem because I think everyone needs to hear it. I really wish I could tell you that share pun was intended, but it was not. I happened to see it when I was editing, which is right now because I am too tired to wake up early, basically. But I do need to go to bed now, so I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Betty Bye's.